can you please say uh, who the man in the photo is, okay? Peter. And where is he from? He's from Nigeria. And where was the photo taken, do you think? In Cambodia. How do you know? It is in Cambodia. He's living in Cambodia. Right. Can you please say that in Indonesian now? Ini Peter. Ini foto diambil di Kamboja. How do you know who he is? How did you know him? I know him from my friends. Aku mengenal dia dari temanku. And where did you see him? In Cambodia. Aku jumpa dia di Kamboja. How long did you see him for? Not more or less like about two weeks or one weeks. Kurang right. lebih satu atau dua minggu. And what did he ask you to do? He offered me for holiday, trip for holiday. Dia mengajak saya, dia menawarkan saya untuk pergi jalan-jalan. Holiday to where? He he said he wants to bring me to his home country to to introduce me to his parents. Did he become your boyfriend for a while? Yes. Dia mau mengajak saya ke rumah orang tuanya untuk mengenalkan saya kepada kedua orang tuanya. And when he said parents home country, did he mean Nigeria? At that time, I don't know. As, as I know, I only know Africa because I don't know actually where where he's from. Indonesian. Uh, dia ini. Saya tidak terlalu mengenalnya asalnya dari mana, tetapi yang saya tahu dia orang Afrika. And did you go with him to his country? No, tidak. Why not? He left me at the airport in Cambodia. Dia meninggalkan saya di airport di Cambodia. This is a common trick that people use. They say they're going to go with someone and then at the last minute they get people to go by themselves. This is a common trick that the drug lords use. Can you please say that now in, in Indonesian, what I just said? Yes, ini sesuatu yang sangat sering terjadi. Di mana ketika orang menjanjikan untuk pergi bersama, tetapi di sisi lain, di hari, di hari terakhirnya, tidak, tidak, tidak pergi bersama. And where did he send you? He, kita mau, he, he sent me to. What country did he send you to? Um, Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast. How do you say that in Indonesian? Ivory Coast. <laughs> right. And Africa. How long did you stay in Ivory Coast? Not more or less than, as I remember, like uh, three days, two night, maybe. Tiga hari dua malam mungkin. Right. And what did what did you do there? What did he ask you to do there? Nothing, just for that saying. And then from Ivory Coast, where did you go? Addis Ababa. Saya pergi ke Addis Ababa dari Ivory Coast. And why didn't you? Uh, th then did you did you go back to Cambodia then? No, unfortunately, I've been caught. What, from Ivory Coast to Addis Ababa? For, yes. And then Addis Ababa to, to Hong, Hong Kong. Kong. Did he explain what was going on? No. And did he ask you to do anything or take anything to Hong Kong, do anything in Hong Kong? No, nothing. He, he just told me to help him to bring his luggage and then to have a holiday in Hong Kong for about a week or maybe just a few days. So he asked you to bring his luggage? Yes. From? From Ivory Coast. And did you, was it in one bag or two bags or how many bags? Only one bag, it's a luggage. And did you see what was inside? Yes, I do. What did you see? Clothes. Nothing else? Nothing else. Right. And even my clothes was there also. Right. And I'm the one who bring it and put it on the check, check in. Okay. But then, and did he did he say he would meet you in Hong Kong or what did he say? No, he told me to bring the luggage to Malaysia. Oh, to Malaysia, not yes. Hong Kong. No. So Hong Kong was just to stop it. Yes. Uh, and did you did he give you a ticket for Malaysia? 
Yes. Malaysia, that's interesting. And who was going to meet you in Malaysia? He said his friend. Right. Has he been to Malaysia? I don't know. Right. Okay. But when you got to Hong Kong, your bag was found to have drugs, that right? Yes. How much drugs? 2.6 kg. Of? Ice. Ice, right. Wow. So, you didn't know what was going on? No. Right. And then you, you, you were in prison for how long? Two years and six months. Um, and then you won your case before a jury, 7-0, and then you're free. Yes. But then you found out that uh, another woman from Indonesia was also tricked by him. Same thing, right? Yes. She was tricked to go from Indonesia to Cambodia. Cambodia. And then to? As I know, to Philippines. And to Hong Kong? And to Hong Kong. And did she have a bag of drugs also? Yes. How much drugs? It's like 2 kg or 1, 1 1.9 something. Ice? Ice. And where did she get that bag? From Cambodia. And where was she supposed to take it to? I'm not really sure. Right. Okay. And can you say, his, this guy's name is Peter, right? Yes, what, his name is Peter. Peter, and um, what's his real name? Asbam. Right, and after, well, while you were in detention, before you were free, somebody helped you, for, no, after you were free, you found his real name and passport number, right? Yes, is this, this is here? the passport number, so, and this is the, re the, the full name of him. Okay. And this is the nationality of him right. and the place where he stayed in Cambodia. So this is actually his address in Cambodia. Yes. Did you act did you go to that address? Before. You went there. Yes. Right. Once. And this is his full name. Yes. Ash Bam Celestine. Amica. Amica. Does he say Amica or Emeka? I don't know. Right. Maybe Emeka. And that's his passport number? Yes. Okay, well, we hope that the authorities there can try to stop him from sending other people with drugs to different places. Yes, I do hope so. Can you, what you've just said there, um, can you say it all again in Indonesian, please? Just, just a quick summary of what you've said. Ini namanya Peter. Dia menggunakan nama Peter, tetapi nama aslinya adalah Asbam. Ini nomor paspornya dia, dan dia tinggal di Kamboja. Dia selalu mencoba untuk men mengajak perempuan-perempuan muda untuk membantu dia. Dengan alasan yang selalu dia yang selalu dia bilang dengan kata-kata manisnya. So, saya harap Jangan ada lagi yang tertipu dengan dengan kata-katanya dia. Okay, so this little video will go with the other one which you made with the other lady who was tricked by him. Anything else you'd like to say before we stop this one? Anything you'd like to say in English and or Indonesian to warn other people or tell them something? Firstly, I hope the authority will find him. I'm not asking for revenge, but I just want to stop this. I don't want he do the same thing as what he did to me and the other. And in Indonesian? Saya berharap pihak kepolisian, pihak yang berwajib dapat menangkap Peter agar tidak ada korban-korban selanjutnya. Saya tidak menginginkan balas dendam, tetapi saya cuma berharap dia menstop perbuatan dia. Okay, thank you very much. God bless everybody, okay?